I now invite Rana Hilal MD for the talk on resident memory T cells in non-segmental vitiligo. Basically, uh, TRM cells are an immunological hallmark. They create autoimmune memory. On entering the skin, they start to acquire um, CD9, CD69, and CD103. They downregulate chemokines that prevent their recirculations, and so they set up residency. So this raises a very important question about what are the possible influencing factors for, uh, on the TRM reservoir. Could it be the duration, the extent, the activity? So to answer this question, a multi-arm prospective case control observational study was conducted under the supervision of my esteemed professors, Dr. Hassan Hasmat, Dr. Wida Zuhair, and, in the and with the collaboration with many of my colleagues in the department. The objective was basically to study the effect of duration and extent on the TULIGO. Uh, it was conducted in our faculty in Cairo University. Our sample size was um, 57 patients, either uh, generalized, more than one anatomical site uh, affection, or localized. Uh, each group was subdivided into either an early duration, uh, sorry, early case, as in six months or less duration, and um, a late duration, late uh, onset, more than six months duration. We had 18 health controls. Our exclusion criteria were basically segmental vitiligo, cutaneous, other cutaneous diseases and autoimmune diseases, immune suppression. Patients were off treatment for the past three months prior to the study and of course pregnancy and lactation. Patients were clinically evaluated by the VASI and VIDA. Uh, tissue harvesting was done using the punch biopsy taping, perivisional, non-visional. Immune fluorescence staining was done by the primary antibiotic body, CD8 and CD69. So the results of the generalized group, we had a significantly higher vital score in the early group compared to the late group. We had three main populations by immunofluorescence, CD8 positive, CD69 positive, and double staining by CD8 and CD69, both in the perivisional and non lesional skin. Statistically, we had a um, significantly higher uh, expression of CD69 in the early cases compared to the late cases and control, both perivisional and non-visional. Likewise, in the CD8 population, it was significantly higher in the early cases. Uh, the perivisional expression was significantly higher than the non-visional expression. Results of the localized group were earlier uh, uh, discussed by my colleague Hisham Hamdi in the previous session. Basically, were they, they were along the same line. Now, comparisons between the localized group and the generalized group, it's quite logical to predict that a generalized uh, a patient, the generalized cases would have a significantly higher <coughs> expression than the localized cases. And this was exactly the condition with the early cases. The, in the early, uh, local, early generalized group had a significantly higher expression of CD69 and CD68, both in the perivisional and non lesional skin. However, <clears throat> when it comes to the late cases, there was no significant difference in the expression of CD8 and CD69 between the late localized and late generalized cases. <clears throat> now, to discuss the results, 
We are basically proposing that the CD69 population is a TRM population, given the strong expression of CD69. Published reports uh, said that um, the TRM cells are not necessarily expressing all of the markers, so we can uh, propose that CD69 is a marker for the, for the uh, uh, cells. Vitiligo activity does affect the course and the population of the TRM cells given the results that we have just discussed. We can also see during clinical practice that a recent presentation of the condition is associated with high vitiligo activity. Now, to explain why the late cases did not show uh, uh, any TRM cells, well, the only explanation we can think of was the lower vitiligo activity, and the patients were probably on previous treatments three months prior to the, the study, which allowed for the depletion of some of the cells, which gives us some hope that the TRAM population could be a dynamic population that could change a long time and a lot of different treatment regimens. So early generalized and early localized cases are red flags. Once the activity is over, we both scenarios and the late cases are quite similar. <laughs> CD8 population is probably a CD8 cytotoxic T cell profile. Uh, responsible for the apoptosis and depigmentation. Again, it was higher with the early cases and the earlier and the high vitamin score. So yes, duration, extent, and activity are uh, are strong influencing factors on the TRM population. Our take-home message is basically active vitiligo needs prompt systemic treatment, even if localized. I cannot stress enough on the importance of patient education and counseling. Many patients think that a small lesion in a hidden area is nothing to worry about. Well, actually, there is a lot to worry about. The earlier the vitiligo is not the better, but the earlier the treatment is definitely the better. The better. <coughs> uh, please mark your calendars for the next VIS. And thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Rana. Uh, so I think we'll go on to the next speaker. Uh, thank you very much. The